Hey guys, Jacob here. So today we'll be talking about money. I want to show you how to make money as a student with code. Basically for all of my methods, you don't need any experience, but you should know at least how to code. I'll cover five bullet points and describe all of them. Let's go. Alright guys, so let's get to the first advice. Uh, so basically it's the most simple advice you can get, it's get a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. I literally suggest you to, first of all, find some internship and then work part-time as a student. During your summer holidays, you have probably two or three months free. So you should use this time wisely and get the internship in some software company. I did that once, I went to Austria for a Python internship for three months and then when I came back uh, to my hometown, I would be able to get two or three different job offers and I could easily choose one of them, which is super cool. And I suggest you do that. And now a lot of you may say, Jacob, but I, have no, and I don't have any experience. Uh, a lot of companies, they just decline my offer. Yeah, I've been there. What I did is I applied to 50 different companies in, in Germany. I went through tons of different interviews processes. All of them declined me. I was super sad, but what I did, I didn't give up. Then after Germany, I searched for Austria. All of the companies in Austria. I applied to also like 50 to 70 different companies. I went through different interviews. I failed most of them, but the one company, they accepted me. And I used that opportunity, I went there and, and I learned a lot. And it's also great for your CV, so do that. I was also talking about it once uh, in my Instagram. You can see the video probably somewhere here when I was talking about hey it. Hey guys, so many of you ask me, how did I start as a Python developer? How did I get my first job? So most of the companies, they ignored me. They didn't even reply for my mails, but it's okay, I guess, because I didn't have much experience back then. But few of them did and they took me to the next stage to the code interview process but I felt all of them except one. So I got this uh, chance to go to Austria as a Python developer. I was pretty uh, excited and that's what you should do guys. You should send your CV to as much companies as you can and try to go through the process and maybe you will get this one single chance. All right. The next and the second step is freelance. I mean, this is obvious, it's related to get a job, uh, but it's actually different. For this, you may not need any experience at all because you can start from scratch. What I do as a freelancer, because I also have some experience as a freelancer, I was asking my friends if they need some help. Then I was looking in a different groups on a Facebook. There are tons of them. And I was asking people if they need help, if they need some service. You can do it as a front-end developer or you can also do it as a back-end developer. What's funny about my friend on Instagram, he actually got a client and the client pays him 50 euros per hour for coding. He's got his client through Instagram. And now for freelance, I have also a good advice for you. So basically, if you're a backend developer as me and you don't know how to design your terrible, you hate coding frontend, you can team up with someone. I did that with my friend from uni and we actually delivered the whole product in two months and we got paid for that. He was doing front end, he was designing and I was developing back end. And we just combine our forces together and earn money with this and provide the great product for our client. Oh hey, and let's talk about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare is also a great platform to go if you're looking to improve your skills. They offer great classes so you can improve your web development skills. You can learn JavaScript, CSS, HTML and then it will help you to get your first clients and earn money with code. Skillshare is super affordable. Yearly plans are only $10 a month. Also, the first 500 people who click link down below will get two months premium on Skillshare. So the third way 
how to make money is actually by creating their online products and selling them to people. You can also do it in different ways. First of all, you can create some game or some app and put it on an online store and earn a lot of money through the ads or through some subscriptions like the freemium games. You know, the freemium games, basically you put your game for free, but people are willing to pay for the items in the game. There are many of them. You pay for the game and you enjoy. With mobile apps, we now have the ability to make games that are boring and stupid. But if you pay for incentives, you're rewarded. Premium. The meum is Latin for not really. The other way is to create the SaaS product. SaaS means software as a service. So basically, you can create some API. For example, the API which will predict you the weather for next week. I know that there's a couple of them and they're already for free, but you provide a good new product and market it well, people are willing to pay you monthly for access to your API. I saw some basic products such as generator of a random data and I know that there are a lot of free ways to do that, but there was like this one website and people were earning a lot of money. You can check for example the nice websites such as Hacker News or Indie Hackers, people there are posting their bootstrap businesses, they are earning money from zero to millions of dollars so you can do it definitely by your own for example last time on, on a youtube i posted a video about influencer marketing we gotta stop here very quickly so basically this video is posted on my friend's channel a clever programmer you can uh, just check it check him out he's one of the most popular youtubers uh related to programming on YouTube and there's the video uh, building a simple Instagram influencer bot with Python. It's about influencers database so I highly recommend and I will put the link to this video uh, in the description. And I created an online product which is online database of influencer. If I would deep dive in this product and provide better features which with the detailed reports of an influencer in a certain niche, I would also make create an online product for it and use it as a software, as a service and charge monthly fees. The other way is if you are, for example, a front-end developer and it's hard for you to find like good clients which are, want to uh, have a nice website, you can create a template. For example, portfolio templates. You can put it then on an online store and people are willing to pay for it. Let's say from 10 to 20 euros per template. Then if you market it well, you are able to scale your business and earn shit ton of money. <laughs> Number four, teach others. Be a tutor, be an online teacher or create the online courses. I know that there are a lot of online courses and you don't want to become a next guru such as Ty Lopez. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. <laughs> you see this TikToker? Get in a little closer, Johnny. You in tight enough? Yeah. These guys are crazy. You can actually provide a ton of value, create a really high quality online course and help a lot of people out there. The other way is to actually just be an online tutor. So basically there are many students who have problems with coding, who have problems with start and you can be an online tutor and charge for example 30 to 50 dollars per hour for such a consulting session. And again here it's all about building a personal brand. It's all about marketing. If people know you, if people are following you, they are willing to uh, pay you the money, they are willing to use your resources because they trust you. They know that they will learn from you more than from some random Udemy courses. The last, which is the number five, and this is my favorite, is going to the coding contest. So basically here I will focus most on the hackathons because I'm a huge fan of hackathon. So basically I would suggest you first of all go there by your own or with someone and just try it out. See what is the hackathon, what is it about, how it is coding 24 hours per week. But then if you keep doing it, you can have like one team. For example, of four coders, there will be like one designer, one front end engineer, one back end engineer, and the one DevOps. Then you are able to create a full products and win the hackathons. I did this. I 
went to six hackathons and I won four of them. And basically you can get a really, really good money. And this is also some kind of like a side hustle, not really regular and stable income, but this is always good to have some extra cash with that. going to extra crunch uh, for a blockchain session. guys so that were my five points how to make money with code if you have your own ways how to make money let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe click a bell icon so then you will know every time when i post a new video uh and see you next time oh, no, damn, damn, damn.